Guys. Do you see this? I have a Mac look. If we could run it, if we could run it back, do you wanna? If we could run it back, if we could run it. I can't wait. Ah! It's upside down. <laughs> This little baby right here is something that I have been saving up for for like so long and I finally have one and I'm so excited. Now I am not a tech person so excuse me for like not knowing anything about this. I just know that it is the MacBook Pro M2 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and then 512 I think gigabytes of storage. It's also in silver. My original plan was to get the M1 because everyone said that it was a lot better than the M2 but I I have not been able to find it. It was not available anywhere, no matter where I looked. So I honestly just had to go for the M2. I'm sure it'll be just as fine. And I have literally never had a MacBook before or like any kind of Apple computer before. So honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. And as for the reason I got this, it is mainly just for YouTube purposes. I've been doing YouTube on my phone since I've been doing it and it's worked okay, but honestly, I just really needed an upgrade. My phone would overheat so much it's not even funny, like I would burn my hand and I'm like, this is just not working. So I have saved up my money and I finally have this bad boy. To be honest, I've also never edited on a computer, so I have literally no idea. This is gonna be a really big learning experience for me. I also just wanted to say, literally the biggest thank you to you guys not necessarily the people on this channel because i'm not monetized on this channel but i have a few other channels a few meaning two that are kind of like a really big reason as to why i was even able to get this so if you guys come from those channels i just want to say thank you like you're literally the reason this is here right now so anyway with that being said let's get into actually opening this thing up The moment of truth. <laughs> it's even like with the paper thing on, like it is so gorgeous. It is quite thick, honest. I mean, not as thick as like some computers, but it is pretty thick. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that I am like holding this in my hand right now. I've like dreamed of getting a MacBook for so many years. I'm gonna save opening up the MacBook very last. Okay, so inside, of course, we have the little MagSafe charger. I'm in love with the color of the rope. And then, of course, we have our little packet. We have this little, like, information thing. <laughs> I just like explaining things. And then my favorite part. Oh, they're black. That is gorgeous. And then, of course, at the very bottom of the box, we have the actual... Why am I forgetting what this is called? a little apple logo on that that's so cute okay i'm definitely keeping this box so on to the actual fun and most important part this beauty okay i have never been a big fan of any kind of gray computer, but I'm actually kind of in love with this color. Like it's more of a white gray, which is so beautiful. Let's open this up. <laughs> I knew that was coming yet it still scared me. Oh, that is so satisfying. My ring light is kind of taking away from this, but like that is so beautiful. I can't believe like this is mine. I'm so in awe. To use English as the main language, press the return key. So no, I have not even set this computer up, but I kind of want to give my initial thoughts about it. Obviously, like I said, the color is absolutely gorgeous and the keys on the keyboard are so huge. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't really expect them to be as big as they are. 
and the touchpad it is so huge to be honest prior to this the only laptop that i've had is my school chromebook so honestly that's what i'm used to and this is like so much bigger compared to that but anyway so with that being said i'm going to set this up might be a little bit of a struggle though because i'm not the best at this finally at the home screen stage of my macbook this is honestly so pretty oh my gosh i literally love it okay so it is the next day it's actually 4 9 p.m right now i really wanted to show you guys the whole setting up my macbook process i also wanted to show you guys me customizing it but when i tell you this was one of like the hardest things ever it was just such a huge like learning curve for me like i knew it was going to be hard for me to do this since i've never had an apple computer before but i honestly did not realize just how hard it actually would be so that is literally what i have been doing for the past day and a half and to be honest there's still a lot that i don't know i haven't even done that much and like the things i have done i just happened to do it i don't even know how i ended up doing it it was one of those things where it just happened like what i wanted to happen happened and i'm like oh yeah, I don't know how I did that, but I did it, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Today, I've spent the whole day editing the video that you guys are watching right now. And since I've had this MacBook for a little bit, I just wanted to kind of give like my review and everything about it. I wanted to show you guys what I've done so far and like how I'm liking it. I also wanted to talk about some of the things that I didn't talk about when I was first opening this MacBook, which is mainly like the stuff on the side. There is this, I'm pretty sure this is an HDMI port, correct me if I'm wrong. And then there is this Thunderbolt and then there's actually an SSD card slot. I honestly love that even though I don't actually have a camera, it will be so useful for when I do. And then on the left side, obviously we have the little Mac safe right here, along with the two more Thunderbolts, which is so nice. And then a headphone jack, which I personally am probably never going to use because I just use AirPods. And on that note, I just feel the need to come on here and say that if there is one thing that I could change about this MacBook, it would be that instead of having that headphone jack, they would actually have a USB port because there are so many things that I need to plug into my MacBook that has a USB and I cannot plug into it without an adapter. And to be honest, I don't really hear of that many people who use headphones that like have the headphone jack anymore. So just a suggestion. They also have these speakers on the side of the keyboard, which is honestly a feature that I've never really loved. One of the reasons why I actually contemplated getting the Air for a while was because they didn't have it. But honestly, like listening to the sound quality, I kind of like the speakers. By the keyboard, I I like listened to music for like two hours last night because I just loved how it sounded. They also have the notch, which honestly makes it look like a phone, which a lot of people say they don't like, but it's probably like one of my favorite things about this MacBook. I just think that it is so cute. So I have some stuff that I've written down on this notepad. This is basically just stuff that I've kind of noticed that I like wrote down while I was using it. I have some like things that I like, some things that I didn't really like. I also wrote down the customization stuff that I did so that way I can show you. <laughs> So the first thing I have written down is the fact that you can open this with one hand. Like I said, I've never had a laptop before. The only thing that I have had is my school computer and you could not open this with one hand. Well, let me show you. So if you try to open it with one hand, like the whole thing lifts up and you have to like do that in order to get it to open up, which is so annoying. But with this MacBook, I don't have to do that, which is so nice. I also really love the fact that the keyboards light up. There were so many times during school when I was trying to do schoolwork at night and I had such a hard time trying to like see the keys. So this is going to be super nice if I'm ever like working late at night. 
The next few things that I wrote down are things that I've kind of already talked about, but like the huge screen, the notch. Also, like I've mentioned previously in this video, I used my phone to edit up until this point and it would constantly overheat or maybe not overheat, but it would get so hot. And so that's something that I've like really been tuning into when it comes to this MacBook. And you know what? I have been using this all day, basically. And I've been editing pretty much the whole day, which does use quite a lot of power. And it is not hot. Like it's definitely like warm, but like you can barely tell, which is something that is so nice. It basically means that I can edit for hours and I don't really have to worry about having to stop to let anything cool down, which like I said, when you I've had a phone that is overheating constantly this is super nice and even if it did get really hot obviously this is the pro so it does have fans in it i obviously haven't heard the fans go off at all because it hasn't gotten to a point where i need to or where it needs to As for cons, honestly, I don't really have that much written down. The only thing that I really had down was the black behind the keyboards, which I feel like is honestly a big unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people didn't really like the air because it had the background behind the keyboard the exact same color as like the actual MacBook. People just honestly preferred it to be black, but I honestly like it the color of the actual MacBook. I'm not the biggest fan of having all of it black. Aesthetically wise, I don't love it, but it's, I don't know, it's not even that big of a deal. Like, I honestly don't care but I think it would be cuter if it was completely silver. Only other con I had was about the trackpad and that was just from when I like had first started using it. Basically if you wanted to scroll down you would have to like move your fingers up and then if you wanted to scroll up you'd have to move them down which was like super off-putting for me. However, that is something that you can change in settings, so everything's fine now. So honestly, at that point, it's basically more of a pro than a con. So now I kind of just wanted to show you guys all of the things that I've customized since I didn't get to show you me actually customizing them. The first thing that I did was hot corners. So basically on the top right, it opens up to my launch pad. On the bottom right, it opens up to my lock screen. And then on the left, this opens up my notifications page. And then I don't have anything on the top left. The next thing I did was my wallpaper. Um, it's all basically like sage green inspired. I have this little like cow background with a little July calendar. And then I also made this little to-do list area. To be honest, I was just messing around. I had like no plan of what I was going to do with my wallpaper, but I actually kind of like it. I also changed up the dock to where it will only show up when my mouse goes to the bottom of the screen. Also changed like what apps are on there. I also changed to have the magnification. It's honestly so cute. I like love magnification. And of course, I also downloaded some apps and things. There's probably going to be a lot more things that I will download as time goes on but for now i just have cap cut of course because that is what i am using to edit on right now while i wait to get final cut pro i installed google chrome just because i honestly prefer it over using safari and of course i had to get spotify now the last two things that i have done is i added this little youtube file right here and i added a little leaf icon once again as time goes on i'll probably add more files and change things up but for now that's all i have and then very lastly on my little to-do list i added a sticky note i think the sticky note is like one of my favorite things ever so yeah anyway that is kind of it for my unboxing my overall thoughts about this is that it is absolutely amazing and i'm so glad that i got this and it is like adorable